guys, Dan with S3 Archery here, and I just want to do a quick review of a hip quiver that I found that I really enjoy. Um, a lot of people in traditional archery, you know, have their preferences as far as what type of quivers they're using. Um, you know, we'll show all kinds of them throughout our course here um, of our YouTube channel. But this one I found, it's a custom one that you order up online, you can't find it in the stores. And I really enjoy it, so I wanted to bring it to you guys, let's see what it's all about. So basically what this quiver is, this is the um, a side quiver that comes from hidehandler.com and we can link that. Um, otherwise, Stephen Katz, he makes them by hand per order. Um, he's got all kinds of different ones, but what I was looking for when I was kind of starting into this was, we have a background of basically shooting compounds. And so we love the, the side quiver, the hip quiver. Um, when we're going back and forth, we're shooting target. And I wanted to get something that had more of a traditional feel. Um, that you weren't going to buy just off the shelf, you know, some Easton brand or something like that. Um, give a little bit of um, props to the, the old days throwback there. And when I looked around, I couldn't find any reviews on this. And it always makes me nervous to, to buy things online if you've never had a review before. And so we're going to do this one just so you see kind of, not necessarily this particular quiver in general, but this style of quiver, um, because there's a bunch of different people that make them out there. Um, basically, as you can see, it rides on a belt, um, comes down, angles the arrows behind your shoulder. All we're doing right now is we've got five practice um, field tips in there. But like I talked about in our stumping tips, this actually does work with some of those hex blunts. So if you wanted, you really like this style and you wanted to use it out in the field, you can put them in here because the opening on here is thick enough. The judos will not fit though, or the rubber blunts. But like I said, it's one of the reasons I went with that particular type. So let's get this off and take a closer look and show you kind of the quality of the construction, but you can see that there's plenty of room for arrows. It fits real nice on here. I really enjoy it. It's probably my favorite quiver that I own. All right, so here's a little closer up look of the actual quiver that I'm using um, and have used for a while now. Um, there's a, he just prints his name on there, um, but like I said, there's other companies that do it as well, but I've never found one that's a better quality than this guy here. Um, it's made out of really thick leather. I'm gonna turn this sideways so you can see. That arrow fits, you know, that's a standard 11 32nd arrow, so you can see that, I mean, it's a pretty wide, thick quiver. There's actually, it looks like one, two, three, four pieces of lever here, leather. So there's a welt in here, so the tips of this aren't going to fall in there. Um, in theory, a guy could probably put some single, or, yeah, single blade broadheads in there. Um, I don't, um, but I'm sure it would hold up to it. The other nice thing about this quiver is it's all genuine leather. It comes waxed and stained. Um, I've had this get wet. It's just gotten better and better. The arrows aren't rattling around typically when I'm walking around. It also has this front little um, pocket in here. They say it's a scorecard pocket. I've never used it as such, but one thing I have found is that um, I have a knife that doesn't have a handle. It's just a solid slab, and I'm able to slide that in there. So if I were to go out in the field and I wanted to have a knife with me, I'd be able to slip that right in there. Um, and that's kind of a benefit, because I think if you're out in the woods, you know, we'll do a different video on what kind of tools are nice to have stumping. But a blade with you is always a good idea, as long as it's safe and it's not going to fall out. Um, so this is just that quick review of that quiver that I've got. Um, hopefully you guys find a little bit of um, information in here that's new to you. Like I said, there's tons of different options out there, and I think everybody, every shooter has a preference. Um, but this is just the first one that I was not able to find a good amount of information on out there. We wanted to add this chapter to our page. Thanks.